There. That's it. That's him. All right, folks. Back again. Give me another video. I do what I do. You know, you know who I am. You know what I do. You know, hey, oh. Quit biting my fucking sayings without giving me fucking credit, some of y'all. Big timers. Yeah, big timers. Go ahead, big time. Say what you gotta say, big timers. But you're saying what I'm saying. The fuck is that about? Now, <laughs> back to the topic at hand. Today's topic is gonna be should I stay or should I play? I had this question put to me on my Facebook. Now, follow me on Facebook, the Twitters. The usual, just follow down there, the old bouncing numbers, wherever they bounce. I'm not bouncing numbers, bouncing letters, my fault. It's early in the morning, I just woke up. And I, I had a question put to me. If you knew that your partner or significant other, this, that, and the fifth was playing you out, like as far as your relationship wise, you know, would you stay or would you get revenge on this, on you know, your significant other? Now, let me tell you the real life significant, let me tell you the truth answer. Nobody, and I mean nobody, has the right to play games with your heart, with your emotions, with your relationship. If they do that, get out. Break camp. Don't go through that stress. Don't go through that mess. I'll tell you right now, even if you love them, I mean, I heard people say, oh, that's hard. I, break camp. It's gonna, in the long run, it's gonna, you're going to be better. You're, you're just going to be worth it. That being said, now I'm getting back to me. Me personally, if I know that somebody's doing this to me, I'm getting them back because I'm a vindictive, I'm a vindictive motherfucker. I'm, I'm going to tell you that right now. As my brother says, I, don't, I, I hold grudges. Like, if somebody does me dirty, I want to get them back ten times as worse. You know what I mean? I want to do it. I hate to say this. I want to do it because I want to make a point to do it. You know, I'm going to make it a point to say, well, I know what you did. Here's what I'm doing to you. And I hate to be like that, but that's just how I am. I'm like, if you're going to do me dirty, I'm going to do you ten times dirtier. You know, I'm gonna, and I'm like the type of dude, like, I'll wait a day a month, a week, a year, a decade, at the end of the day, I will get you back. That's the type of shit I'm on. Because uh, I'll be honest with you, I had females play games ever with me, but at the end of the day, I got them back way worse than what they did me, and, it, it, and trust me, they were on some bullshit like, I hate you, da da da, they wouldn't leave me alone, this, that, and the fifth. But at the end of the day, I told them, if you want to play games, I can play. So it's a, it's up to you. Like me personally, I don't play games. Like if I'm I'm gonna tell you right now, like I'm single. When I say I'm single, it means I'm separated. I'm separated to a divorce. Now, if I'm with a woman, that means I'm with her. I mean, I like I, I tell you guys all the time, and you guys think I'd be bullshitting. I talk to beautiful women every day. You would swear it was my second job. My first job was to make money. You know, I talk to women beautiful women, so I see a beautiful chick, and this is what a lot of these chicks don't understand, because a lot of you fucking thirsty ass dudes out there, it says fucking the way the economy is, y'all swear you've never seen a woman, y'all should be sitting back here enjoying the fucking proceeds right now, there's women everywhere, but now y'all fucking thirsties and lames, but back to the point, they run with a dude like me, I'm like, I'm not sweating you because you're beautiful, I see beautiful chicks, what do you want me to do, you, you like one of the millions, so... I went off topic a little bit, but that's because that's for somebody else. They know who they are. But uh, you don't have the right to play with anybody's emotions. Like, you don't know what people are going to do and how far they're going to go. But, like, I got to be honest with you. Real life, it happened to me, and I got them back. I did what I had to do. I wasn't didn't no mean-spirited, but I was just like, you know, I got you back. Don't worry about it. And so, at the end of the day, if you, if you really want to stick with this person, you got to understand that let me put it to you this way, especially if, they, if it's a cheating thing. If somebody cheats on you one time, you take them back. And they cheat on you again, you ask for that. Because you can't be all up on air, all they're cheating, they did it. You took them back the first time. Then you should know what's going to happen the second time. I'm not saying once a cheater, always a cheater, because that's not always the case. There's some people, some men or women, who if they cheated, they don't. They never have done it. They haven't done it again. But in the back of your mind... You're just human nature. You're going to think that. And if they do do it again, you can't say nothing because you're like, well, you took them back the first time. Like, if somebody's a, a serial cheater, you take them back, 
you got no right to bitch and moan because you you putting up with that dumb shit. Me personally, say if a woman cheated on me one time, I'm like, adios. Now I may get back with them. I bet, I mean, not back with them, back at them. And I'm a dirty dude, so people know me, know I roll. But at the end of the day, you don't have the right to mess with somebody's relationship, mess with somebody's feelings, mess with somebody's heart. Get off them games. Like, I see this all the time. Like, there's chicks who think that I'm supposed to follow them around. Like, you know, remember, remember all the uh, Pepe Le Pew commercials on Bugs Bunny? Where there'll be a, a, a female cat or a skunk or whatever to be aroma. They expect an aroma to get in your nose. And you know how they be floating on air on Bugs Bunny with following the aroma for a chick? These chicks expect you to do that. And I'm like, you fucking kidding me. You're like, you fucking serious? Like, do you realize there's like, in this economy, if you a dude that's holding down a fort, there are chicks lined up for you, and I'm taking advantage of that. I'm not going to sweat one chick. You got to show me what, you got to show me a reason why to sweat you. Fuck out of here. And I, I know people would say, he's talking a lot of shit. I'm like, that's these women. I talk a lot of shit. It ain't nothing new. But then the day, man, ditch them. That's all I can say, ditch them. They're like, you can tell them I said that. And if they want to say something, tell them why I said, I said why. If they cheat on you once, they're going to cheat on you again. And again, let me let me take that back. If they cheat on you once, don't be surprised if they cheat on you again. So I'm out. I hope this helps. It may help. I mean, at the end of the day, it's your decision, what you want to do. You, know, you might want to stay with them. You might not. It depends if you got kids or you want to work through the marriage out or whatever. Or if they got money, whatever. So it's up to you, really, but me personally, it's like this. If I had a woman that would cheat on me, or I had a woman that would play games, I'm only going to stay around long enough to get my revenge, and I'm breaking camp. That's how you're supposed to do it anyway, because once you get your revenge, they're going to be really, really pissed off. First of all, they're going to be pissed off that they thought they got over on you, and they didn't. Second of all, they're going to be really, really pissed off when they find out that you go back at them. It's real, real, real life, real rap, so I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. There. That's it. That's him. <laughs>